From the station working for you, this is an RTV6 update. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Right now, school administrators are responding to a voyeurism incident at Bloomington North High School. It involves a custodian who is now charged. The principal there released a statement saying, quote, last evening we had a custodian at North who allegedly had a camera in the swimming locker room. Our administration investigated and immediately contacted the Bloomington Police Department. The police have charged the individual and he has been suspended from the Monroe, Monroe County Community School Corporation pending the the investigation. On Monday, the accused Noblesville school shooting suspect is expected to be in juvenile court. During that hearing, the teen's attorney says the student is expected to admit that he's guilty. And then the very next day, voters there will find a $50 million school safety referendum on their ballot in Noblesville. The money would pay for eight more school resource officers and a district safety director. It would also fund specially trained gun detection dogs in each school. If approved, the homeowners with the home valued at around $200,000 would pay about $180 more each year. Now for a check for forecast. And as we go throughout the course of the evening hours, you may be heading to some high school football games or just out on the town. This forecast applies for everybody. We'll start off right around 47 degrees and then temperatures really don't fall off all that quickly throughout the evening hours with the clouds around and chilly breeze out of the northwest. For the weekend, Saturday 55 degrees, partly sunny. Temperatures starting though down in the low 30s. So it's a chilly start to our Saturday. Sunday's dry for the most part with a high temperature near 60 degrees. That's the good news. As far as the rain showers you saw there in the forecast on Sunday, here we are five, six o'clock in the evening. That's when they'll overspread the area. Once the showers arrive, though, they're going to be with us Sunday evening, Monday, and potentially some heavy rainfall heading our way on Tuesday. Lauren. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather that you need to know, you can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.